Oh, well, there are times where we end up finding some children that are missing from their family. We find large amounts of money that nobody knows anything about. Okay, or large amounts of cocaine, marijuana, heroin, methamphetamines, anything like that, okay? Yo, folks. So getting stopped by the police, uh, if you're black, is a very common occurrence, uh, even if you're innocent. And yet, a Georgia County Sheriff is saying this incident isn't an act of racial profiling. Eh, yeah, look at these clips, though, and see if you agree. We're going to check y'all's luggage, okay? If there is anything in y'all's luggage, we're probably going to find it, okay? I'm not looking for a little bit of marijuana, but I'm pretty sure you guys at Chaperone are probably going to be disappointed in you if uh, we find it. You took it to Florida with you? Mm-hmm. And you don't know what it is? You know, see, that seems kind of, uh, you know, like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. We're going to open it. Okay. Um, and we're going to find out exactly what it is. Okay. But, however, this is this is the type of stuff that we look for. Okay. Okay. The situation started when officers pulled over the bus full of lacrosse players because of the driver being in the incorrect lane. And though the sheriff's office claimed that they weren't aware of the race of the occupants, they definitely knew the race of the bus driver after speaking to him, which, in my view, is what led to what happened next. A bunch of dang schoolgirls on the bus. It's probably some weed. Maybe he seems a little, a little talkative. So they end up grilling the girls on the laws of marijuana possession and searching through their luggage with a K9. And guess what? They find nothing. Thankfully, the lacrosse team from the Delaware State University and HBCU was more than willing to share its experience. With one player saying, "There is no probable cause to search the bags. There is no evidence or smell." He immediately saw a group of athletic girls teams and should have let us continue. But because the majority of the team were black women, it was a different result. And while the sheriff continues to defend their actions, they were condemned by everybody else, from the Georgia state president to state senators and Delaware's own governor, who said, I have watched video of this incident. It is upsetting, concerning, and disappointing. Yep, you and me both. And as of now, the school has launched their own investigation into the incident, with calls growing for a full state investigation as well. That's all for this week. In wider news, dozens of people were filmed fighting each other at this Florida event, and I want a bath just looking at them.